day trading live this morning. Day trading defensively. That's what I should say. I should call it day trading defense. Making a couple day day trading defense. Making two trades this morning. Playing defensively, small size. Talking about why I did what I did and what went down live in this video. So you know what to do. Stay tuned. It's Wednesday morning, day trading live this morning, showing you guys my entries, showing you guys my exits, showing you my thought process on why I do what I do. Sometimes I don't even know why I do what I do, but it's cool to look back at these videos and kind of see like, hey, that was, you had a good look there. Oh, that, that worked out there. So if you guys haven't already, if you're new to the channel for some reason, you're new. I don't know why you would be new, but if you are new, hit the subscribe button. There's a little notification tab. You can hit that as well. That way you'll be alerted anytime I post a new video. Sometimes I go live, sometimes I make videos about crypto or whatever I'm doing. You guys want to stay up to date with that. And enough about me. Let's get into the action. So we got LEDS, got CHEK. Not a big fan. Both of these stocks really volatile and crazy. You can see CHEK up there at 1980, down there to $17 right now. Really, I've been trying to find something. Been looking all morning for an opportunity. Just cannot see it right now. You got CBI up there to the 1490 area. I thought about possibly shorting this one at the $15 area if it gets up there. So I'll keep an eye there on CBI, see how it reacts around the $15 area. There is previous resistance there at the $15 area. You can see here $15 resistance back there on the 20th. So CBI, just gonna keep an eye on it right here, see how it reacts to that $15 area. So D A E R Dare up there to 118 now. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a pullback here. Still sitting here waiting for an opportunity. Not sure we're gonna get it. This is just crazy. This is a one minute candle here. You can see how this has went from a dollar oh six now up there to a dollar thirty two. So very volatile and uh, getting some volume there. Got six hundred thousand shares traded there on that one minute candle. So Big volume on this thing. Let's see if we can get filled right here at dollar seventeen on this pullback. See how it pulled back down there to the nine EMA. Well, actually, ooh, pull back down the VWAP. Pulling back down there to the VWAP there. See if we can find some support there. Dollar fifteen, dollar sixteen area, and get this to push back up here. Big buyer there, dollar sixteen. Looking for this to move back above dollar twenty. See if we can get up there to dollar thirty maybe. Looking for this to push. Looking for this to keep pushing. Come on, dollar thirty area. Wanted this to explode a lot more than what it's doing right now. Not really. There we go. A little bit more. Come on, push. I was battling right here. One dollar, dollar twenty area here. Jumping out of it there. Not liking how it's coming back down like that. Was hoping for a lot bigger of a pop up there. The dollar thirty area. Just getting stuck there. A lot of resistance popping up there. Dollar twenty, dollar twenty-two area. So you can see now down there to dollar fourteen. So getting out for basically break even there on D A R E. I was up sixty bucks. Probably could have taken profit there, but was looking for that push up there to the dollar thirty area or above it. You know, kind of this high. You can see on the daily chart we got that resistance there at the dollar forty-four. So I still I felt pretty good. We would be okay. Maybe this. Dollar thirty two area was kind of the issue. Maybe that was holding it down. So D A R E kind of bouncing here on the five minute chart, bouncing off the EMAs there. Let's see if we can get above the VWAP there. Looks like it's going here. Wow. Nice little bounce there from the dollar ten area now up there to dollar eighteen. Try one more stab here. Dollar fifteen. See if we can get something here on D A R E. Break back above the VWAP here. Push up there above a dollar twenty. Big buyer there, dollar fourteen. Come on, push, baby. Let's go. Right here, right here. Another big buyer flashing there, dollar fifteen. Looking for this to push back above a dollar twenty. There we go. Come on, push above a dollar twenty. Taking it there. Look at that nice little push. Now she's going. Now she's pushing harder. Beautiful. D A R E all the way up there to a dollar twenty-five. I just won a little bit there. Just a it's so a little bit, just a little tiny bit there. I probably, I mean, I could have got a little bit more there if I would have sold on the ask. Probably could have got a dollar twenty-four, dollar twenty-five area. 
wave here pulling down here dollar or six area getting back above the emas breaking over the view app there and then boom nice move up there to the dollar 24 but still that resistance there at the dollar 24 just kind of holding it down right now big spike in volume too look at the big spike in volume here on this candle you got 695,000 shares traded on the one minute candle pushing it above that dollar 20 area but still that resistance selling into it there and now it's pulling back down there so I took profit. Eh, I feel like I took profit at a pretty good time there. Today, really, I think is just all about risk management, managing my risk today, and uh, just kind of playing it safe. Not seeing a lot of action. Not seeing a lot of stocks that I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a real hot day. You know, there's a lot of action. So, got to kind of think about that. If there's not a lot of action, there's not a lot of stocks moving around, then I've really just got to kind of almost not trade or display really kind of uh, defensively, just a little bit here and there kind of thing. You can see D-A-R-E bouncing off the EMA there, $1.15 area. Let's see if it'll push one more time. So Dare looking weak here, looking like it wants to pull back, like it just wants to crash. Watch on level two, watch on time and sales. So Dare looking like it wants to rip here, looking like it wants to go. Let's see if we can get above the dollar twenty-two area. Start ripping up here. That next resistance there, dollar twenty-five. Need some more volume to fill in here and push this one up there. Got that big seller sitting there, dollar twenty-four. It's got to get over this dollar twenty-five area, dollar twenty-four, dollar twenty-five, and push. Everything getting tight here. You got the VWAP, got the EMAs, just sitting right in this area. So we're either we're going to hold that support. I think if we break below that support, we're going to get a nice little sell-off. But if we can hold that, let's get this push. D-A-R-E can, dare can get moving here. I'm trying to figure out if I want to go short here on EYPT or if I want to wait for an opportunity to go long. It's up 18%. It's got 1.6 million shares traded. I'm trying to see how it's reacting. Oh, looks like I should have went short there at that 238 area. It was sitting here on my finger on the trigger. Look at that pullback down there in the 9 EMA, which looking beautiful. Dumping, jumping off the 226 area now. So EYPT down there to 222 from that 240 area. Beautiful. Nice little pullback down there to the VWAP, down to the EMAs. Is it going to break? That's the question. So DARE also done down there to $1.11. No shares are short there on DRAE. I think I'm just going to end up walking away. Not really much going on. It's kind of a dead morning. I think Dare was really the only play of the day. And you know, it was it wasn't an easy one. Making sixty dollars here on D A R E Dare. And you know, was sitting there. I was thinking I was thinking about EYPT. Just didn't I didn't love it. I didn't love the setup. So I'm gonna just walk away there and call it a day. Basically just breaking even on the day, I guess you'd say. Nothing Nothing to write home about, nothing too crazy, but still a little bit of profit. Uh, and uh, it's better than a red day. So basically playing defensively today. When there's not the setups that I want, when there's not opportunities, when I don't see a lot of opportunities, I'm going to play defensively. So that way I'm not overextending myself, that way I'm not over trading, that way I'm not forcing trades, and that way I'm not losing money, trying to make a little bit of money when the opportunities aren't there. And that's the game plan. That's what we're working on. That's what we want to do. That's what I'm striving to do better. I'm striving to not force trades. I'm striving to only trade the best setups. And, you know, D-A-R-E, was it the best setup? Probably not the best setup. But there was a little bit of opportunity. And I was looking to play it. And I played with a smaller size. I took profit quickly. I wasn't greedy. And that's part of the defensive trading. So a little bit of defensive trading today. And uh, that's part of it, part of it. And on that note, I'm going to talk to you guys later on. If you guys haven't already, do me one big favor. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. What stocks did you trade today? I will talk to you later on.